Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only, the original Silo Man, coming to you live and direct from an underground launch control center in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Please enjoy. Hi there. Well, this is an Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base. Right now, you're roughly 40 feet underground. And this particular room here, the silo, is 52 feet in diameter and over 180 feet deep. If you'd like to get a little closer over here, you can look down and see some of the original flooring that's still intact. Right now, if this would be complete, going all the way across would be level two. And down here that you can see, this would be level three. And then of course, all the other levels all the way down the silo. This entire structure is suspended by these mounts, these struts, and these springs. They're every 90 degrees surrounding the silo itself. This entire complex could be suspended. We could suspend basically a 17 to 18 story building. There's nothing connecting all of this structure to the very, very concrete floor. What you'll see on the upper portion here on the upper right are the two air intake vents. That's where the air would be drawn in from the exterior from outside on the surface and be brought in. At which point you're seeing a lot of the equipment obviously is missing, in fact all of level one. Um, and that would have been the air washers where they'd start moving the equipment and uh, at that point it would be sent all the way through the HVAC throughout the side of the center. And see here over on the left, you can see the missile enclosure area. Uh, the gray beam that you see running up and down over here in the far corner, that was probably the last of the original guide rails for the launch platform. And remember, as we talked before, the launch platform is really nothing more than an elevator for the missile. So, and then where you see all of the upright I-beams, that would be what we call the MEA or the missile enclosure area. And that was a completely separate area from these outer equipment areas surrounding it. You look all the way up, of course you can see the bats, but you can also see the silo doors. Each one of those doors is 150,000 pounds or 75 tons. If you look over here on the left, you can see what we've got down. You can see where the original personnel and freight elevator was located. You can see the front gate. The elevator itself has been removed and salvaged, but at least you can get an idea where the original gate was for that structure. And in the back side of it, you can see some of the HVAC ducting that is falling over. Um, again, on the left is part of the, uh, the mounting system for the springs. These two very large pieces that you see here are part of the manifold, exhaust manifolds for the diesel generators on levels 5 and 6 of the silo itself. Above our head would be a plenum to behind us would have been, that, that exhaust plenum would have then gone out to the exhaust blast valve, which then would have exited the, the silo and gone all the way to the surface. Of course, all of that plenum has been removed. I put these handrails in, uh, my father and I did, about 16 years ago. Um, if you'd like to come over a little closer, I'm going to have you shine the camera down and we can discuss some of what you're seeing over here. And 
And you can see all the way down to what we call level eight of the silo itself. Down there, believe it or not, is the original launch console. At some point, whoever, where I'm not too sure if it was the salvagers or just some kids that were into vandalizing, they picked up the launch console that was in the lower level of the launch control center and threw it in the bottom of the silo. And we can see it down there on its side. Below that level eight is another 14 feet going clear to the silo, what we call the silo sump area. And that's basically where the silo ends. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this so far, and if you have any questions, please leave them for me. Don't forget to please strike that like button if you enjoyed the video, and please write a comment, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.